Pixie here and welcome to another Nerdy Mondays! Alright, so we got some exciting news in the comic book universe last week um, with the new female Thor and the fact that Captain America is getting a new star. Um, before we get started on any of my opinions, here are the two stories. Um, Thor is getting totally redone. Like, this is not Lady Thor, like a ton of girls cosplay as Thor at, like, comic cons or any conventions or anything where you can dress up, or you want to dress up. Um, or, like, Lady Loki, which they've already done. When Loki decided to get a sex change, which was weird because it didn't really go anywhere. But, um, yeah, so I think that's kind of cool, my opinion on that. I think it's kind of neat. I think it's kind of like, woo, girl power. Um, but I will let out a big why. Well, my opinion is that I feel like... Going back to the fake comic book girl meme that I did a video on, or a video rant, let's be honest, um, like a few weeks back, um, and I hate that, because a lot of people just assume that guys read comic books. Well, I have a ton of girlfriends, girls that are friends, um, who read comics, and I guess just being around them, I never really kind of was a, was associated as that, nor were my friends, so I just think that's interesting, but I feel like that's the, not that meme, but to get more girls that actually will read the comic book, um, like to appeal to a larger demographic, I guess, so to speak, um, which, you know, is cool, and the art for it actually looks pretty badass, like, I was looking earlier, and, um, it's really pretty, like, it's kind of, like, not your classic comic book art, which, you know, what is that anyway, um, it's kind of, like, I know, it's very colorful and bright, which for Thor, yeah, that's kind of, you know, the norm, but, like, this has, like, barely any dark colors in it, and I kind of think that's really cool, um, and the next one is that Captain America, and I, you'll, I will let you know about my opinion on this whole thing in a minute, um, this actually isn't true, um, because this is how my friend approached me about it, and I was originally like, well, you know, that's cool and all, but why? Um, I originally was told that Captain America was being turned into an African American. I was like, okay, well, that's pretty, that's cool, but I was kind of like, well, why? What happened to Steve Rogers? And they were like, oh, no, they're just rewriting the whole thing and making him African American, and I'm like, okay, well, you know, that, that's cool. I mean, Nick Fury was once white, and people seem to take to that change well. I don't really understand why this is such a big deal about the race difference. And after I read an article, which I will post in the info section down below, um, I, I noticed and read that that's not the case, that um, Steve Rogers actually is stepping down because he finds that he has lost his extraordinary strength and agility he once had from the injections of the super soldier serum super soldier serum try saying that five times fast um and giving his title of captain america to his friend sam wilson who many people know as the falcon already so he'll be called the american falcon and i kind of dig that like i think that's kind of a cool concept that you know captain america is actually getting old I never thought I'd say that, but Captain America is getting kind of old and stepping down and kind of passing the torch, if you will. 
And I think that's really cool. Like, I actually don't understand why the whole entire, like, all of the articles I read are about, like, the big deal about the race thing. Like, a lot of people know how I feel about, like, cosplaying and stuff. As long as it doesn't affect the actual plot, like, even if they were rewriting it, I don't really think it would do anything. Yeah, but the story would be different, but how many times have they already done that in the first place? Um, as long as it just doesn't affect, like, the plot, or, yeah, they're drawn like that, but if it's never really a big deal that, oh, this person's this race, or, oh, this person's that race, as long as it doesn't affect the plot, like any movies, or even musicals or whatever, they can be whatever race they want. Um, same thing with cosplaying. It's kind of like, if you don't do something very offensive, like painting blackface, which we're not going to even get into, you can be whatever the hell you want to be. Like, it shouldn't matter. Um, so it kind of bothers me and kind of irks me that they're making such a big deal about the race issue. Like, I thought we were past that. Um... But yeah, my two side notes on this is that I think that they're both kind of cool and I may have to find a comic book store and or succumb to buying them online because I actually kind of want to read this new Captain America and I kind of want to read Lady Thor or whatever they're going to call it. So yeah, that's my little spiel. Um, if you liked this video, subscribe. If you didn't, you should subscribe anyway because it's nerdy mondays and i like to brighten all of your days because we all know that we hate mondays at least i do until my school's done which one more week woo um so yeah i will see y'all next week love you bye